Hello friends, welcome to the class on computer aided engineering drawing. In this video, we are going to try to solve one of the problem on the isometric projection. So the problem has been given like this, a cone of base diameter 30 mm and height 40 mm rests centrally over a cube of side 50 mm. Draw the isometric projection of the combination of the solids. See, we have a cone of base diameter 30 mm and this cone is placed on a cube of side 50 mm okay so this is the front view and corresponding type top view and we need to draw the isometric projection of the given problem so let us do it so let us first draw the cube of 50 mm how to do it first take a line command thickness must be 0 0.13 and it must be a continuous line starting point of the line so it is a 50 right 50 into 0 0.816 that is a conversion factor angle is 30 degree enter in the same way once again 50 into uh, 0 0.816 enter angle will be 150 degree enter next once again it will be 50 into 0 0.816 enter angle will be minus 150 degree enter next finally we are going to join this okay so this is how we are going to draw the square okay let me zoom this area now what so next i need to locate the center of this square how to locate so identify the midpoint of any one of the edge and join the line to the another midpoint opposite midpoint of the edge in the same way i'm going to do it midpoint of one of the edge to the opposite midpoint of the edge i'm going to draw a line like this this is how we are going to find out the center so what will be the height of the cube it will be 50 from the center of this square i am going to draw a line so so center line i am going to choose this line command so what is the length it is 50 into 0 0.816 enter angle will be how much 90 degree enter this right click will be exiting from that command so now i am going to select this object i mean select the base of a cube i am going to use a move command i am going to on this command is move copy i am going to hold this square from the center then i am going to place it at the top of the axis like this okay so next what the top face of the cube is ready now is the time to draw the vertical edges right from the corresponding corners right so here the thickness must be 0 0.13 and it must be a continuous line i'm going to draw the vertical edges like this okay so now the cube is ready next thing we have to construct a cone of base diameter 30 mm and height must be 40 mm okay see if i enclose the square uh, circle i mean top view of this cone inside a box it will be a square of 30 okay to draw the cone base of the cone first i need to draw a square of 30 mm why because the cone uh, the base of the cone is 30 mm okay so i am going to take a line command so here i am going to draw a another square okay starting point of the line of 30 30 into 0 0.816 enter angle will be 30 degree enter once again the length will be 30 into 0 0.816 enter angle will be 150 degree enter once again 30 into 0 0.816 enter angle will be minus 150 degree then finally i am going to join this okay now i got a 
uh, square of 30 mm now i need to draw a circle so for that first i need to draw the longest diagonal like this of the circle then remaining uh, edges i mean corners from this corner i'm going to draw a line to the midpoint of the opposite edge in the same way from the same corner i'm going to draw another line to the opposite edge midpoint like this in the same way i'm going to draw a from another opposite corner draw another line to the opposite midpoint in the same way i am going to draw another line like this now i need to select a arc by center point method arc by center arc by center point from the this arc as a center point of the arc and this as a radius i am going to draw the arc to the next point like this in the same way i am going to select this corner this is a radius i am going to draw the arc like this okay in the same way i am going to select this point where this line intersects so just zoom this area okay from the this as a radius i am going to draw the arc just press the control button okay in the same way i am going to draw the another arc from here this as a center and this as a radius i am going to cut the arc press the alt button i am going to get the arc okay wait a second I'll repeat once again control arc by center point this and this as a radius i am going to draw the arc okay so now you got the uh, base of the cone now still i need to locate the center of this how to locate the center so take a line command so from the midpoint of the edge to the opposite midpoint i need to draw a line in the same way from the midpoint to the opposite midpoint i need to draw a, another line so i located the center so what is the height of the cone so the height of the cone is 40 mm right so therefore 40 mm i am going to take a line command so it must be a axis line so thickness must be 0.13 from the center i am going to draw a line vertical line upwards the height is 40 into 0.816 okay enter so the angle must be 90 okay so next so the cone is ready now i need to draw the tangent from the apex to the tangent to this base of the circle okay like this i need to draw a generators and this must be a continuous lines okay so now i am ready with the cube and also i am ready with the cone okay so after this i need to combine this okay so i have cube cube is ready cone is ready now i am going to use a move command before that i am just going to zoom this area so select a move command click on the element to modify so this is the element i need to move and this must be in off condition because i am going to move the parent copy so i need to hold this object from the center of a base of a cone next i am going to move it and i am going to locate it exactly on the center of the top face of the cube like this okay now cube 
I mean uh, cone is on the cube. Now what? Now I need to make a visible edges must be dark. Okay. So as I told, uh, we need to come from top to bottom. These two generators are must be dark of thickness 0.5. Next this tangent. Okay. So here we need to use a split command. Okay. How to do it? So take a split command. Which one I need to split? I need to split this arc where I need to split at the end of the generator. In the same way here also I need to do the split. Okay. So we need to select this base of a cone. Okay. And this one and this one must be dark of thickness 0.5. Okay. The cone is dark. Now we need to do the splitting of this cube top face of the cube so take a split command i need to split this line where i need to split where this generator intersects with this line okay in the same way i need to split this line and here i need to split okay now you take a select command select this top face of the cube like this and this must be dark of 0.5 okay so next the vertical edges this one these three vertical edges are visible that must be dark now this bottom face edges two bottom face edges are visible this must be dark of thickness 0.5 okay so this is how we are going to draw the isometric projection of combination of solids in this we have a cone which is resting centrally on a I hope you understood. Thank you. Namaste.